Land Rover Discovery Sport. We haven't got the project car in there. People keep going, Simon, do some more Discovery Sport videos. Well, we're doing this, but this is Kate's Discovery Sport, isn't it, Kate? Yeah. You quite like it, though, don't you? You've had it a yeah. couple of months now. About six months. Um, and when she got it, it had a loose clip at the front, and she thought, nothing of it, so that'd be fine. But then she goes tearing around the countryside, and it went pew, and it was gone, wasn't it? Yeah. Don't tell anyone. Um, so we have got another one, but... Kate's been on the parts catalogue and apparently there are 2,004 different types of part number for a simple wheel arch. It's not that many, but there's a no. chunk of them, isn't there? Yeah. Now, we know, we can guess what some of them are. So if you've got that self-parking, park assist they call it, you have an extra parking sensor here, I think. So as you're coming in, it guides you. So, And it may be that where you've got this hole here, that is where that is. So I suspect there's one moulding, but it's got different finishes depending on what other sensors. Now, did it? what was the other one? Was the five and the seven seat different, or was the with mud flaps different? Or I think it was with mud flaps. But, but I can't see, but there was, there was we'll put a screenshot on the screen so you can see the Land Rover's, compl how can you complicate a wheel arch? Land Rover can, right. What are we doing in this video? We're gonna show you what part we've bought, what part number have we bought, Kate? We bought that one. Yeah. LR 123731. And how much roughly are they? Oh gosh, that's a while ago. It's a while ago. I'll put the prices on the screen right then. Um, so there you go, it comes in a big box. Now it comes pre populated with clips. Now a lot of you will have loose clips, I suspect, where you've had a little bang or a little knock or a little bounce. And look, you've got blue clips at the front three. Then you've got white clips for the next one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll put the part numbers of these clips on the screen now. And then you've got these two little clips here for the back part. That's just a locating thing with a little bit of sponge. And it looks like they're just literally pop on, pop off, don't they? Yeah. Um, there is a little hole here. We've got to investigate that. So that's our next investigation. Um, that seems to align with a bolt that Kate is showing you now. We'll, we'll, turn, this, we'll turn the wheels, Kate. And we'll get a better look at that. And we'll have a look at replacing the missing one of these. Um, all these clips, by the way, slide out. Like that. So you can see there, they slide out. They're round, they slide in. All of them are about the same, other than those bottom ones. They're a little bit funky to get those out. You need like two screwdrivers to pick yeah. them out. Um, Right, so there we go. Oh, did I say three? Is it four? Can I not count? I don't know. Right, let's have a look what that nut down there is all about. Right, you will notice there's like two parts. It all comes as one. So this bottom part here is welded on. Right, so let's put that to one side. So in Kate's zipping along lanes, look, it looks like Kate's bit has come apart here. You can see these four little... So right, so Torx T30. We turn the steering wheel. We haven't, we haven't had this out. That's not rusty at all. Look at that, that's good, that. Good so we've got a good bolt, that. Good, right. Now, we know we've got the clips on here, don't we? Yes. But we've got new ones, so we're just going to be savage, aren't we? Yeah. It's not even my car. I don't care. <laughs> right, then. Oh, what was oh, oh. that? There's a lot of mud. Now, I don't want to rip the bit of trim behind. I can feel another bit of trim. I think those clips are... That's it. So I didn't want to rip this off. So I was pushing against that. Oh, oh look, is, it, is that? Left a clip. As we left the clip. Oh, is that? Look, look he's, he's clinging on, look. He's a little cling on. Yeah, make sure you get him out, look. Um, we don't need him. We'll put him in the spare plastic clips pot. So those clips, you can see how they go in there. Right, how else are we looking? So let's just do a check then. So those are clear. Check we've got no broken clips. Oh, you, you just ripped it clean off, didn't you? Yes. That was A417. Like A417, right then. Whoosh. Right, let's have a look. So do we, we got any plan here? So this looks like a key thing here. This is longer than these, if you look. So that must be the location. So when they're at the factory, they must have to locate that first and then everything else should fall into place. All right, let me move my light. Turn it off, we'll be blinding us. Right then. So I reckon that, so we got two next to each other. I reckon, I don't reckon it's the square one. I reckon it's the round one. Yeah, I reckon that one's not used. So 
So I reckon if we go up there with that, right then, yeah, that, that seems to be looking all right, doesn't it? Oh. Now we've got, we haven't got a wheel arch, we have got a wheel arch liner, but is it, does it go inside or outside this wheel arch liner? Should it go down there? I, I reckon not. We might go and have a look on the other side. Let's have a look. Right then. Right, the bottom clips are in. Oh, we're just going to snap it in. Just have to snap it. Right. right. It's got a little bit of. I can see that they're lining up. They're lining up, eh? So yeah, they just need to be. You have just got to be savage, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one lines up. That one lines up. That is it. The wheel arch line is all tucked in. Right, put our little. Whoosh, whoosh. Now, if you've got mud flaps on, it's going to be a slightly, slightly bigger world of pain. But we haven't. We'll have to do a video fitting the mud flaps next, won't we, Kate? Yeah. Right, there we go. Right, we're all, all back on the road, all safe. Oh, there you go. Wheel arch liner. Uh, trim done.